Hi, this is a very quick video to show how I do the rigging for uh, legs and knees. You of course can use the same techniques for elbows and knees, but uh, the big distinction for me is that on elbows, I want to have the arm move all the way around, but on knees, only uh, bend in really one direction in the three-quarter view. So my method is pretty simple. I use the uh, main legs, uh, bones of the leg, and I have just one single layer for the leg. So the default will be to use flexi binding, but I use uh, point binding in several situations. So in particular, at the waist, I do point binding of the uh, points that are at the waist. And then around the knee I do point binding. So specifically I create enough points to kind of give you a knee uh, shape and I bind all the way to the joint, uh, to the upper leg bone and then the, pump, the points that are all below the knee I bind to the um, lower leg bone. I leave the foot to be uh, flexi bond bound. And then I use uh, smart bone actions to get the uh, bending of the knee just right. So we can see what it looks like as the leg comes up. I compress in the calf area and I can give as much rounding as I want to that knee. The advantage of this point binding is that these points move in a predictable way. When you use flexi binding around this knee joint when it starts to these points become close together, points tend to move all over the place. And it's just much easier to create the smart uh, bone actions. Now, the foot is all messed up here because I'm using an independent angle, but that's uh, just independent of the um, re rest of the smart bone action, so it's not really important here. So that's how I do the uh, leg binding, and I found that that's to be a really fast, easy way to do things.